Hi everyone! Today on Cooking Up Love, I'm sharing our recipe for making these delicious air fryer salmon tacos. These are so good and so easy. We coat the salmon with a spiced chili rub and they cook in the air fryer in just about 10 minutes. I'll also show you how to make the perfect fish taco slaw in two sauces, a creamy chipotle fish taco sauce and our spicy avocado green sauce. Let me show you how easy these are to make. Go ahead and take the salmon out of the refrigerator and set it aside so we can take the chill off before we cook it. To start, we're going to make a quick fish taco slaw so that we can get it into the fridge to chill. You'll need cabbage. I'm using purple and green. You can use what you have. About a quarter cup of cilantro leaves, a carrot, a lime, mayo, sour cream, cumin, and salt and pepper. Measure out a quarter cup of mayo and a quarter cup of sour cream. Add a half teaspoon of kosher salt, a quarter teaspoon of ground black pepper, and a quarter teaspoon of ground cumin. Juice the lime and add a tablespoon of the fresh lime juice. And give it a stir to blend. And then set this aside. I like my fish tacos with lots of filling and different flavors, and this slaw is quick and easy to pull together. It'll give your tacos a really nice crunch. And if you'd rather eat your salmon as a taco salad, this fish taco slaw makes an incredible base. Finally chop about a quarter cup of cilantro and add it to the bowl. Then grate a carrot that you've peeled. I'm using this grater with a size that's not super fine, so it goes pretty quick, and this will add great color to the slaw. Then go ahead and chop the cabbage. You're going to want just about four cups of chopped cabbage, and I'm using probably oh, about a little less than a quarter of a head of these cabbages. And I like to use a smaller chop for a fish taco slaw so that when you bite into the taco, there's not a bunch of cabbage slices that come with it. So I'm slicing first into the head and then across. And that'll help quickly make a smaller chop. And you can go ahead and use slices if you want. You do you, like my family says. Just don't use the thicker core part of the cabbage in the slaw. Or if you do, cut it into smaller pieces. Add the cabbage to the bowl, and then mix everything together. And sometimes I'll add pickled jalapenos, that's really good too. Okay, cover this up and put it in the fridge while we get the salmon ready. Okay, for the salmon, we're going to be using about a pound, so that'll be one of these fillets. For the spices, we've got garlic salt, chili powder, onion powder, and black pepper, and avocado oil. You could also use extra virgin olive oil. In a small bowl, measure out one teaspoon of chili powder, a quarter teaspoon of garlic salt, a quarter teaspoon of onion powder, a half teaspoon of ground black pepper, and a half teaspoon of kosher salt. And give this all a stir. If you want a spicier rub, you could add some cayenne here or some more chili powder. Pat the salmon dry and then coat both sides with the avocado oil. And this will help the spices stick. If this is your first time at our channel, welcome. We are making easy, no-fail recipes that you can make with confidence and share with everyone you love. And I'd love to have you join us every week when we share new recipes. Subscribe to find out when we post a new recipe. With the skin side down, dust the top of the salmon with a spice rub and then use your hands to pat it on. Preheat your air fryer to 400 degrees, and when it's ready, add the salmon fillets to the basket, skin side down. These are going to stay skin side down for the entire cook time. Cook for about 10 minutes, and I like to use a small thermometer to test that it's reached about 140 degrees, and then it'll finish cooking as the salmon rests and come to 145 degrees. While the salmon is cooking, I'm going to make two quick sauces. For the avocado sauce, you'll need milk, sour cream, some hot sauce, I'm using Texas peat, avocado, a little cilantro, a lime, a clove of garlic, and onion powder. And for the chipotle cream sauce, you'll need sour cream, mayo, onion powder, 
chili powder, a clove of garlic, chipotles in adobo, and a lime. Okay, first up for the avocado sauce. This is our Aunt Rosie's recipe. It's so good, it's delicious on everything, not just fish tacos. I'm adding a quarter cup of milk and a quarter cup of sour cream to a hand mixing container. And you could also use a food processor for this. Juice a lime and add three tablespoons of fresh lime juice. About a tablespoon of cilantro. And I'm just going to grate one garlic clove into the mixture. Add a quarter teaspoon of hot sauce or to your taste. Add one avocado and a quarter teaspoon of kosher salt and blend this all up using a hand mixer or a food processor. This creamy avocado sauce is cool and tangy. It's got that bright lime flavor. It's amazing on fish tacos and nachos and it'll keep in the fridge for up to two days as long as it's tightly covered. Next for the chipotle cream sauce. This is one of our favorites for fish tacos. Mix together a half cup of sour cream and a half cup of mayo. Add two tablespoons of fresh lime juice and two teaspoons of diced chipotle in adobo sauce. And if you have the whole chipotles in adobo, just dice up one large chipotle and add it plus about a half teaspoon of adobo sauce. Add a half teaspoon of kosher salt and a half teaspoon of onion powder a quarter teaspoon of chili powder, and then grate or mince one clove of garlic and add it. And just give this all a mix. This has really nice flavor. It's not overly spicy, and if you wanted it a little spicier, just add more chipotle or a dash of cayenne. When the salmon is done, serve it sliced or shredded with warm tortillas. I'm using corn tortillas that I've warmed up on the griddle. And to make the tacos, I like to start with the slaw, and then slices of salmon, and I'm just going to lift it off of the skin. And you could also shred the salmon if you prefer. The measurements and ingredients for everything are all listed in the description below. These are so good, with the layers of flavors and texture, the chili rub salmon, the chipotle cream sauce adds another layer of spiciness, the avocado sauce is bright and limey, and the slaw is that perfect touch of cool and crunchy. They're so delicious and so healthy too. Hey, let me know if you try these. You're gonna love how fast and easy the salmon is to make in the air fryer. And this fish taco slaw and the sauces are great for serving with your favorite fish or shrimp dinners. If you like this recipe, press the like button to let me know. And if you've got a friend who loves fish tacos or is learning to use their air fryer, go ahead and share this recipe and let them know that you're thinking of them. Hey, thank you so much for watching. Take care and I will see you in the next video.